some struggles too. Yes, sir. We may want it to be about what we want to do, yeah. but you've got to expand your vision and let your vision, vision be his vision yeah. and let him yeah. lead the way. Yeah. You won't always know where you're going.
So he says in Jerusalem. He said in Judea. Yeah, yeah. Then he said in Samaria. Uh -huh. Now that's some folks that you, you, you may not like them. Now, watch out. They not, may not speak the same language that you speak. They may not eat the same foods that you eat. They may not act the same way you act in church. But he said, don't leave them out of it anyway. He said, they still have a soul that needs to be saved. So he says, us here in, in Monroe, and we in the state of Louisiana, and we're in the United States, we got Mexico to our south. We got Canada to our north. I can't speak French. I can speak a little Spanish, uh -huh. but he said, don't let your limitations be my limitations. Right. Right. Because what God can do goes beyond what you and I can do. And so don't limit God because of what you can't do. You just go and allow God to make up the difference. If God can use 12 disciples, 11 disciples out of Galilee, and who probably all they know is Aramaic and maybe a little Greek, but when he got there, they began to speak with other tongues as the Lord prompts them and spoke he's speaking of the wonderful works of the Lord and all the people from around who came, who spoke all these different languages, ate all these different foods, did all these different things, they heard. They heard the gospel of the kingdom being preached in their own language. You see, I don't know what you, you don't get caught up in what you can't do. You have your vision about what God can do. Because it's all about what my God can do. God had given me a vision long, several years ago, that there would be a Spanish mission. That we needed to reach out to those who speak Spanish in our community. And they're coming in after the storm. And even this was before the storm. And I kept saying, Lord, how are you going to do it? When you going to do it? My, my Spanish ain't that good. My Spanish is limited. Lord, how are you going to do it? And do you know, that, oh, even last year, the Lord sent somebody looking for a church in order to hold a Spanish service in. And he had, they had kicked them out of one church because their doctrine was a little different than out of theirs. And he came and we started talking and he, he lined up with us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, his, his, his doctrine was connected and was just like ours. The other folk had a problem with him because they didn't believe like we believe. But he believed more like us. And so God now used this vision he gave this man to expand a ministry in the church. And the God he gave me to prepare the way that the two of us could partner together and begin to work out and expand a vision so that those in our community who speak another language can hear the gospel of Jesus Christ and learn about holiness right there in Folsom, Louisiana. Who would have thought God would do something in a little old town called Folsom, Louisiana? And I don't know what it's going to look like after a while, but I believe they're going to be bigger than us. Because God has a vision that goes beyond us. I didn't know how he was going to do this. But all I had to do is wait on the vision and know that it will not tarry. It will come. So it says Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria. And then it says unto the uttermost parts of the earth. See, they tried to limit him to Israel. But God said, no, 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 no. Not only Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria that were all Israel. But he said, I need you to go beyond Israel. And I need your influence. I need your impact to be to the uttermost parts of the earth. That there ought to be, you are working beyond where you feel comfortable. Working beyond your limitations. And believe that God can do more than you think he can. By your investing in the work, even beyond your borders. I thank God for people like Sister Richardson. I thank God for those who will go out into the different parts of the town, like Sister and Lillian Brown and our, our, our different elders who've gone into foreign countries to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because our calling is to go into the...